Today we are making nut cheese. And ladies and gentlemen, my husband hates it when I call it nut cheese. And the guys at work kind of get a big kick out of it. Anyway, nobody will touch it if you call it nut cheese. So if you want to keep it around the house all for yourself, just offer people up some nut cheese. Anyway, I've got two cups of cashews here. They happen to be roasted and salted just because that's what my supermarket has had on sale. You can use raw, which are actually steamed or unsalted, but you may have to add a bit of salt to the final product. I'm gonna soak these in some water. I don't really have to because I do have a Vitamix, but if you don't have a Vitamix or a powerful blender, go ahead and soak them for about four hours or overnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this uh, two cup container with water and let my nuts soak for a bit. So I'm gonna drain these, I'm gonna drain the nuts and put them in the Vitamix. And now I'm gonna add just a quarter cup, or add a quarter cup of water to this, just cause that's gonna make it blend up easier. It's gonna sit out a long time, so that water's gonna get a chance to evaporate. So now I'm gonna use the tamper, and I'm gonna go to town on this, because it's not always that easy, and sometimes you gotta scrape it down. So. Start slow. So you want this to get really, really smooth. So I'm gonna keep blending, I'm gonna turn it up. All right, so this is still a little bit grainy. I don't know if you can tell that, but when I taste it, it's not completely smooth. So I'm actually gonna add two more tablespoons of water to this and we're gonna give it another whirl until it's really smooth, like smooth peanut butter. All right, I don't know if you can see, but this is much smoother now. Now, because that can heat up when you're using your blender, that it can heat up, I didn't actually put the uh, culturing agent in there. Um, I used to use what they call Rejuvelac. I'm sure you've probably seen that. It's where you like, culture some sort of wheat berry or quinoa and make this juice this watery juice that smells horrible um, i don't do that anymore i just use a probiotic powder and you can get it in like capsules or in like a little container let me show you what i use okay so this is what i use the pyridime life biotic so i'm going to use it comes with a little scoop. I'm gonna use two little scoops of this and I'm gonna add it to the Vitamix and blend that in. Now you could use a couple of capsules of probiotic if you want. Um, just the capsules, you just open the capsule up. All right, hold on, let me get this open. Okay, now I never really know how much to put in. It, this thing says a serving size is three of these tiny little cap or cupfuls. So I just use two. And you, probably one would be enough, but I use two. I'm not quite sure how many pills this would be, maybe about four pills. So I'm just gonna dump two of these little capsules in, and then I'm gonna re-grind re that up. So, so far, all we've got in there is nuts, water, and the probiotic. We're gonna get all in there. Man, don't you hate it, man? You feel like you can't ever get enough out. And how many spatulas do I have that are all torn up at the bottom because of the, because of the blender blades, man? Okay, so here it is. The ground up cashews and the probiotic powder, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is cover it with my magic cheesecloth. What do you guys call cheesecloth in other countries? Um, it's fitting name, right? It's cheesecloth and I'm covering cheese with it. Okay, so anyway, we're, I'm gonna attempt to put this rubber band around it here. Let's see if I can get this on the first shot. Yay, voila! Okay, so there we have it. Now I'm gonna let this sit I'll probably check it in two days, but more than likely it's going to go three days. You, you'll just know because you'll taste it and it will taste more like cheese. Okay, so I had this idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, I don't know why it wouldn't work, but... You know, that cheese was sticky and it's really hard to get it all out of the Vitamix. So I thought 
you know what, maybe I'll just add a little water, leave what's in there in there, and I can have a little like cashew, and maybe make a little bit of cashew cream, if you will, that I can use for something. So maybe it'll clean up the Vitamix, and I'll get a little uh, cashew cream out of the deal. Well, I got something. Let's see how well it cleaned it. Oh, it did pretty good. There's a lot less in there. And uh, yeah, you could add this to soup or something. Or drink it. Chill it. Drink it. Put it into coffee. Yeah, I'm going to do that from now on because it sure beats... Man, I just hate to see those cashews go down the drain. I really do. So yeah, add a little water, blend it up, and reuse what's left over. It's been three days that the cashews have been sitting on the counter. I haven't even looked at them. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Sometimes it kind of forms a rind on top, which it, which it kind of did there. Just give this a taste. All right, tastes completely different from when I put these cashews in the bowl. It, just completely different, it's so amazing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some herbs. Um, I've got, I just went and grabbed some thyme chives and parsley out of the garden. Use whatever your favorite herbs are. I like this combination, okay? So I'm going to, I'll show you how much I put in. I'm not gonna put all that in there, okay? Then what else I'm going to add is probably two tablespoons of white miso. I believe this is the white miso, even though it's should be called yellow miso. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of that. And I keep that in the freezer I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't actually freeze. So this I pulled just right out of the freezer. So I keep mine in this freezer container, in the freezer all the time, all right? And then I just got this out to show you. This was in the freezer too, but see, it's still actually soft. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of white miso and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. So two tablespoons of this, two tablespoons of that, and some herbs, and I'm gonna get that all stirred up. So this ended up being about a quarter cup of each, kind of a packed quarter cup of parsley, chives, and thyme. I'm just gonna give it one more chop through. All right, just gonna dump all that in there. All that herby goodness is going right in there. All right. And then two tablespoons of miso, like that. And two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. All mixed together. I should probably put it in a, in a bigger bowl. That would be easier. I'm gonna do that. All right, so once you get that all combined, you wanna check it again for seasonings. Like I said, I used um, salted cashews. If you didn't, you're probably gonna wanna add some salt. So just give it a taste, add some salt if you think it needs it. I don't think it's gonna need any salt, mine isn't. Now, this is only gonna get better as it sits in the fridge. Like, oop, fly. Two weeks from now, this is gonna be like better than it is today. It's great now. Eat this on some toast, oh, crackers, toast, dip for vegetables, whatever you want it for. Um, you could even like roll it into a, you know, refrigerate it, roll it into some nice log. I'm just gonna put it back in a bowl, cover it, and stick it in the fridge and let it sit. So it's that easy, racy baby, it's that easy. Make, go make some cheese, it's so good. I'm gonna cover this with some 
I'm gonna set this cling film or whatever you guys call it. We call it Saran Wrap, although it's not Saran Wrap brand. I'm just gonna cover that right on top of there so that doesn't develop another rind, a uh, hard rind, which it's, you, you can just mix it in, but I, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I don't know why, but you don't have to do that, but that's what I'm doing, covering it like that, and then I'm gonna put a cover on the top. Like that, boom, in the fridge we go.